Hello friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my CSS course for Absolute Beginner series. This is the second part of part 3, Learn CSS Grid Layout. We are supposed to combine this tutorial in the previous tutorial, where we learn the basic and the fundamental of CSS Grid Layout. I decided to make this creating a responsive layout for dummy e-commerce listing page as a solo video because the previous video become almost 50 minutes long. So okay guys this is uh, what we are going to create in this tutorial here so you can see this layout is responsive. The layout changes in three different screen sizes. Let's code this out. The link for the quotes repo in the description below. So let's start. Okay guys let's create the dummy e-commerce landing page site. Uh, grid layout using the grid CSS using the CSS grid layout and all create that one and make it very responsive. Okay, I'll just leave this page as it is for you guys have a for you guys to have a look if you want to. And now I'm gonna create another file. Inside grid uh, CSS grid folder. I'll say let's say grid layout. I'll just write on grid grid layout HTML and I want to create um, CSS file, separate CSS file as well. Layout.css just to make it. Um, let me, let me, let me actually I post this. Okay, no problem. I'll do it later. Um, okay, let's create our basic boilerplate for HTML. And I'll write the. Uh, e-commerce uh, landing page for example xyz product page I'll again write wrapper for the main uh, um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> the main container and here is the content okay now let's load this page with live server and we don't need this one close it and there's nothing close this okay so let's Let's link our HTML file first thing first. We don't need this one. We'll link this HTML5. What I want here is the um, body tag, body element, inside background. What's wrong with you? Background red. You guys see me writing red all the time because it's easy to see, right? Okay, I'll make it a little smaller and this bigger. Now, I'm gonna link here that file. The CSS file is on the same folder called layout.css. When you save it, boom, well, it's working. Okay, now we can do actual coding. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna split the screen here. And um, the left is the HTML page, left side and right side, I'll write the CSS code. So and then far right is the live update page. Here you can probably not gonna see. Okay, now you can see. Okay, let's start creating a layout here. I want a little more space for HTML for now. <clears throat> let's just start with the header element, header semantic element, and class name should have given header too. Last name header. This is header. Okay, and um, and then under the header, I want the. Yeah, I think let's remove this one, and I want to give uh, some like a default value, global value, box sizing, border box. You might have seen me doing this one all the time because. When you give box sizing border box, it will calculate your width, padding, and the margin height, and combine all and calculate as a given length. That will make like much easier when you have like a little corner here and there is space left over. That will be so annoying if you don't fix them here. Okay, and the margin, I'll leave the zero because it has some margin at the beginning, and. Um, 
just leave it as it is first okay and let's see we might have to come back here later again all right so where we are to we are here creating first we have the this is the header container okay i want the header and under the header i want the h1 like a site title or in our case maybe the uh, product name or some slogan i don't know whatever let say for example maybe sub with us and save dollar like that and the next one i want to have the banner like a main banner of the page so let's say main banner section and on the side of this i want to have two box which have like offer kind of thing maybe i'll save banner box one for one guys i'm not gonna make like a complete complete e-commerce content but we are just working on layout okay we are going to make complete layout for the page but his might not be complete as e-commerce okay right um we have main banner uh, upper one and upper two and under underneath there we'll have side menu okay right side menu the class name let's give a class name to side menu And then on the right side, we'll have the um, main area with the main class, main, let's say product listing area. And you know what? I want to make one more aside um, or let's say give a div where you can have, let's say tags, um, tags of that page and also maybe recently built product how about that recent your products okay and then we will have definitely footer okay now um, what we're gonna do make it looks easier okay just to see which item is why let's give background to um all of these elements um uh, and then we will like know where they are okay from here i'll just put header header i'll give background to black, black or kind of dark gray background um i think like a pretty dark gray let's write down css or so more space to css so as i'm writing here you can reference the class name here okay they are all vertical now see they are just stacking vertically now you which you will see with the color presentation here soon we got the header sorted and what we got under the header we have title How many we got in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's make a copy of it quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, now what I'm gonna do, I have a title. Title give a red. And I need banner. Uh, banner and banner box one. I'm just Putting them here, copying, pasting, making quicker. Mm. Just put the CSS all first, and then we give them some color so that we can see. Okay. Now let's give the um, banner A. Actually, what's the banner? Banner is blue. Banner blue. And banner box green 
and box two maybe green yellow you can use any color property value any like a rgb or hexa but i'm just gonna give like a basic name for now and i think when you put this one the black text can see better yeah and um <laughs> the main side let's keep pink and the tag area let's give it to yellow and um we got men men area let's leave it white only men area because we're going to put another like grid items inside so and footer oh recent one of course we keep brown and the this one the footer i want to give like a, a dark gray or like almost to black okay so now you can see they are all vertically stack so probably this one you cannot see i'll put this one and put her white color we are not doing anything to do with grid yet just want to get ready for it okay now i can see the text as well all right let's do the grid part okay so to do that first we go i want to go here on the top let's start with the wrapper class let's make the wrapper class a grid, grid container because wrapper holding all the uh, elements uh, child elements that we are going to organize right so the wrapper let's start with the main property we need is the display grid Okay, now the our item is all the item has become grid item by its, uh, itself since the parent container is the grid container. So what we going to do? Give the gap as well. On the give gap is maybe 0 0.3 um, rem. And okay, now we can see the gap here. All right, underneath I'm gonna give them row and column. Um, let's define the rows first uh, so to do that as you remember grid template template rows I want to make it three um not rows sorry volume I want to make three columns so that I can uh, like a manage if I want some larger than another one I can combine two column and then make one column for a small side you'll see in a second so I'm gonna do fraction first one will have a one fraction one fraction and then sec the middle one will have two fraction and the last one will have th one fraction in this way if you want the front um, container is bigger than the last one you can have like three and one person and same thing goes like uh, if you want front one is smaller and back one is larger you can have front as a uh, one fraction and you can combine last two volume to make a bigger content area a uh, grid item area or grid area okay so now see this one already aligning on the volume one column two column three we haven't defined the um uh, column row let's uh, we'll do that later or probably we don't even need that because we'll make it auto so this is the fun part so grid uh, template area grid, grid template area so here we will have we will define which content goes away before that we need to define the name for this one so let's give them a name so the name grid area this one i'll give header and um i'll just copy this line and then paste it everywhere so that i can quickly type title title class give title name and banner oops the banner give the banner only and the banner box maybe let's write down short form of banner box one bb1 and banner box two do the same thing with banner box two and the side menu let's do 
side menu. And the tags, let's do tags, recent, let's do recent. You can give any name you like, okay? But I just try to make similar as possible, as similar as possible, so that we know which one we are working on. And uh, I don't want this for now. Men uh, will give men as well, and for footer, definitely give footer. So now we can reference these names. Don't worry about here, guys. Now, um, this name to put in our grid column area. So let's go to the new line. So if you remember, each row has to be defined in quotation. So you can put one quotation here and then two quotation on each second row, third row. Do like this. But I like to make the new line easy to write the code. So on first one, <coughs> I want header. To take up the three of the column so one two three and um, second one I want the hatch one title to take up all the space as well three of the column and um, the banner I want banner to take two column column one and column two and the third one give it to the box one and uh, Similarly, the next row I want banner bigger, so give banner a two, two rows and have the box one and box two on the right side. So this one box one and box two, and this one will occupy the both row and column. And uh, I want side menu. Side menu give one and the give the the rest of the but uh, the two back row second and third column to men okay um and i want under the menu i want tags and the recently visited product i think i have given recent name was on it tags yeah recent this that this name recent remember we need to make three column otherwise it's not gonna work so we need to give men twice and men twice and men okay now you can see a little bit making some shape here uh, let's do the footer is it footer next a recent men is done and footer yes the footer is next let's take a whole um row for the footer so define three times footer oops uh, now guys you can see it's already taking up a space the white one you cannot see here uh, let me quickly give um, men a background men 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 see now you can see I'll, I'll put back reset back to normal oh, it's too small to see for you guys here yeah, I'm pretty sure okay here yeah. so header in the top taking whole row title one taking whole row the banner taking two row let me show you in the grid see if I hover over you can see the grid one grid two grid three I mean row one row two row three and this one the blue area covering two row and the side box covering one row same thing with the main and the sidebar and the footer one taking up whole row I mean three column okay with that let's um so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna close this one guys okay so uh, let's make a space a little bit um like a smaller or bigger just to make it looks better so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put um, margin, I'll give margin everywhere one, rim, okay, and I, that's fine, so let's give padding to each item here, so that they have like, um, they are not starting from right top corner or left. Um, right at the beginning so to apply css to all you can use uh, 
selector with the star let's say I want a wrapper class and inside the wrapper class first descendant all the elements this one the angle bracket tells you the first descendant and star tells you all the elements here we give um padding and font size for now adding one ring maybe and the font size let's put 24 for now yeah and let's put all the content in the center actually you know what guys I'm gonna do here make you much even better how about we number them and easy for you to exactly know which one which way okay um that's element one i mean grid container item one grid item two grid item three grid item four and grid item five similarly go all the way i'll go too quickly Okay, this is just a numbering. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can see the flow of the page is designed. Okay, this is the page flow. Actually, let's reset it. Now you can see it. Okay, that's um, another thing. And let's put all this content in the center. So let's keep the again this same selector let's give a display grid you could do this one in flexbox you know how you can do justify content center and align item center it will put everything perfect in center you can do this one with the flex as well just wanna show you what see but let's go back to grid since we are doing the grid tutorial mm. okay that's done see like okay this is now you got the layout ready you can have like a header footer and then the banner here you have the this title you can do whatever you want now but so this is your actual grid layout so there you go now what we're gonna do we're going to use uh, we're going to make this layout responsive so we're going to look into different screen sizes so just write the media query I'm gonna write media query for all types of device and the max width max width is seven sixty eight pixel so any device size smaller than that this is the um, TSS we're going to imply, apply. Okay, let's copy this wrapper because we are going to play around with the grid item, right? So, rest here. Oops. Let's copy this wrapper. All the magic happens in wrapper. And now, okay, if I just save it, nothing gonna happen, right? I just wanna show you we are in that screen size. You just see the number here. So this is about 810, so we need to go smaller. So let's go to, this is, okay, about 693, okay? So which is definitely smaller than 768. Now, okay, there is a 702. Okay, let's work on that. Okay, so I'm gonna hide this one. So you guys already know which element is where. So I'm gonna just make it smaller. And here, okay, what I want to do is in the medium skin, screen, not skin. So I'm going to have like um, this one taking up whole row, whole row, this one whole row. And this two will take row. And this element will take whole row. And this one main area takes whole row. And the recently view product and some tag will have the share row and footer row. And look the the order as well okay seven eight nine here but we can put this one somewhere else and these two somewhere else let's do that so now I will change this one to uh, fraction two let's give one each 
because I want to have if we have two row in our screen let's have them equal so that means we only need to define two times now I need header I need title I'm gonna go banner full and um, full row and then banner box one and banner box will banner box two will share the screen and the main menu will take all space Sorry, side menu will take all the space and the after that I want to put the main so even though they are in the order of right side menu tag and the recently build but I want the menu first main area second and this uh, tag tag and the product share the column so here I want to put share with the tag and recently built product we don't need man here and we need only one if I save it there you go see the page is changed it there you go now see you can see the layout here sharing um, banner and the box one box two here and the sidebar here but if I go smaller see now the two boxes taking equal space and tag and recent your product taking equal space and the main tech area taking full space same as the main banner and I want to show you another small like let's do, let's do in really small device for example I want to apply same thing I'm oh, sorry I want to copy paste the same style but we go really small device okay maybe not 600 I will do 576 pixel now there is nothing gonna change 576 is about this one is 558 now let's what I want to do I want to put everything in a like a in a row I mean on a column vertically stack but I want to change the order see the number already like changing here six nine seven and eight I can make it even more example of that one let's do all of them in one so we only need one row here so that means I'll put auto say one column I mean to say one column auto that means they will stack vertically and I want header I want title I want banner I want banner box one banner box two side menu man let's say recent and tags and footer if I just save this one it will just follow the order and take up the space see individual um, element on one row so here what I want to do I, I want to show you how powerful is it without using any JavaScript to change the block of the HTML somewhere else let's what we do here is maybe let's do offer one on the top of the banner this is a bit hard to see right let's do go to um, main banner and keep this color white yeah now you can see it okay okay so I want the banner one goes first I mean offer one first header and then I want the title and maybe let's do the tags Let's put tag now after the title and I want the banner like a <laughs> offer one like a side box and then banner and then the the side box too. side menu and main is okay and recently and footer if I save it now see the order one here two here and then come to seven and four three five six nine eight ten regardless the way we have written here like in order one two three four five six seven eight now you can completely change based on the screen size you want to change now whichever way however you want to change it this way is a large screen and medium screen and the small screen see how cool is that that is completely just managed with the CSS grid layout isn't that cool I think yeah that is really um, about this one 
do is um, create item. I'm gonna create probably hang on nine item for example nine products. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this you see here this area. This is what I'm going to put. Let's say this is for example um, category page of the e-commerce site, and these are the products on um, that category. So let's work on that. Okay, let's open the CSS. Okay, so this all item are inside the main class. Okay, let's open CSS here. Um, let's go here after the after the main class. Just put in order so item is the class name for all of the item inside the main okay so if you think about the grid why they are all lining up even though we have defined the grid for main container that because the grid when you define grid to the parent element um, display grid it will only apply to their direct descendants elements which are the other elements like uh, all the the aside body uh, sorry header and then the footer but this is one step more inside so that means you need to if you want to change them, them to grid container grid item you need to provide main make the main uh, element a parent grid container okay so we are not doing much here so what i want to do is i'll just give some for the items here i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do is uh, okay this is on the one page now Okay, grid item. Let's get mean width. Mean width. Um, 200 pixel is big enough. And also mean height. Mean height is 200. Okay, and I wanna give background color so that you can see. Um, okay, let's give blue violet. Nice color. Okay, now you have the container there showing up and let's put margin to 10 pixel and what I want to do I want to give the shadow to this box box shadow box shadow uh, one minus one pixel Three pixel, five pixel, and RGB probably give hundred, hundred, hundred. Let's see how it looks. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see much. You know what I can do to make it more visible? Let's remove this gray color out from the main here. Yeah. Now pro you can see there is like a um, now the box looks like floating box that floating effect let's go back to our uh, style for items stay here and i want to make the corner a little bit rounded so border border radius give maybe five pixel yeah just to make the rounded border there and i want to give flex grow if you guys remember that from from the uh, CSS flexbox tutorial it will take the space uh, whatever space is available the item will grow to fit to that space okay now let's work on the display grid now let's make uh, this one display grid justify let's put the content in the center you know content center align Align item center and I want the color white so that we can see clearly color white and let's save and see okay that's not that bad and um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 how about we put um, value oh, I'll just give them Maybe let's say item one, item two instead of just number. Okay, item one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 
these are our item but this is not what we want them to display on the web page right so let's um fix them up so what i want to do is go to the the, the parent container of this item is the main area, right? So in main area, just uh, let's do the give uh, one display property. Um, display, but I want to make it just flex, just to make it easier because this is the small uh, element inside the layout. So I want flex flow. I want it to go on the row first and then wrap the item if it doesn't fit in there. So this way, now I'll close this. So the item are like starting from one to left to right, top to bottom. And then when there is nothing at the bottom, it's taking up occupying whole space because we have a specify item as a grow flex one. So now this is what looks like complete um, e-commerce landing page, not landing page, listing page for the, for example, um, um, category. Just to see a little better, how about we just give some picture here just to see, okay? I'm gonna comment that one out later. Mm, I think there is a source on this class. Let's get that random. Let's put a small. Go HTML and, uh, and this item let's put the image here so what happens with this one is that this one pulls the image from the uh, on splash randomly and if and then display here so basically if you put um the the different sizes here it will give different picture otherwise it will give same picture okay so i am at image img source goes there Okay, let me do same with the same app on the all the other div as well and let me show you if I just save it it will have same image everywhere You see the images is not like filling up. Let's give the image size because the image size is smaller. Let's give this image size a little bigger. I want to make this from 200 by 200 to 400 by 400. Let's make it 200 to 400. I'm changing it all. Now it will fill up the space. And also. Okay, there is the same image. How about we keep the different parameter and it will change the um, different image. Every time it loads, it will load randomly different images. It's for that size. Now you can see. Okay, now they have like different photos. Okay, guys, you got the idea. So you can now put, I'm not going to do all this one because we are just doing layout tutorial. So now I would love to see you guys making something looking cool. Um, landing page using grid CSS layout, CSS grid layout. And if you want me to check it out, I'm happy to check out for you too. Okay, just send the link to me. Um, okay, so guys, that is all for the grid layout. I'm gonna basically, you know what? I'm gonna move the image as well. That's just to show you how, but I like the leave the content so that you guys can see better way on the okay so this way it looks more cl clearer to understand okay so we got the page ready this is our um fully screen size um i'll just put this one on the side so that you guys can see Okay. Okay. This is okay. This is this is what it looks in our, our full screen, 
and if the skin is in the medium size this is the medium size of the screen and when you go to a smaller screen there you go that's the screen, the smaller screen okay that's all for this video guys hope you have learned uh, some value from this tutorial today so I'm going to post this code to github I just did little bit earlier forgot something to post this one so you guys will have the um, linked in the description below get all good CSS grid layout uh, content for tutorial is added and I'll just post it okay guys now the the code is available in the github repo in the github slash dented code um github.com slash dented code slash css hyphen c tutorial okay this is something i need to fix it okay tutorial.git that's the um repo i'll i'll update this um yeah the typo and update the uh link in the description below and the file we are using for this one is inside the grid uh, css grid folder okay that's all for the css grid tutorial i'll see you next enjoy coding bye